At this time of year, rail passengers will be all too familiar with delays caused by leaves on the line. But could a space-age solution be the answer to an age-old problem? This month, Network Rail has used heritage lines to test 21st century laser and plasma technology. Fundamentally, we're just looking to see if we can find a new sustainable technology uh, that is cost-efficient and effective at removing the uh, contamination from the railhead. That contamination is when leaves get compressed onto tracks by train wheels and form a black, Teflon-like coating. It makes it harder for trains to break and accelerate, and in autumn they have to run at reduced speeds. So these engineers have been simulating those conditions to put the lasers and plasma to the test. Plasma is a high energy source. Uh, we create it by using nitrogen from the atmosphere and a high voltage spark. And so we create a beam of electrons and ions which are delivered onto the railhead and thermally remove any contamination. So inside of this container, there are six lasers. The energy intensity is so high that the, you know, the rust or the dirt that's on the top of the rail that vaporizes away. This is all very different to the current method to clean the tracks, which uses high pressure water jets. But it consumes a lot of water and uses lots of fuel. The backdrop to all of this has been a place perhaps best known for preserving the railway's past, but now very much at the forefront of its future. Our part, of course, is providing the infrastructure to allow Network Rail to do research and development and we're proud to be part of that. Uh, ultimately what this will allow Network Rail to do is provide a safer railway uh, and a more efficient railway for our passengers and freight clients. Potentially changing the course of Network Rail's constant battle with leaves on the line during autumn and improving millions of passenger journeys in the future.